Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. And today we're going to talk about zooming. Once you start making music, doing film or video work in Reaper and start getting big projects, it's really important to be able to navigate through them without wanting to kill everybody in the room. I'm going to start by rapid firing through some defaults. Then I'll show you some of the stuff that I added or some defaults that I changed. If I'm going too fast and you're trying to take notes, don't worry about it. At the end of the video, I'll show you a list of all the actions that I did and you can screenshot that or you can find everything in the blog post for this episode. So the first key we're going to look at is the tilde key. That's this key right next to your number one on your keyboard. And if we hit it, we will minimize the track heights. And if we hit it once again, we'll go back to where we were before. So this is a good toggle. Tilde on its own minimizes all track heights and shift and tilde maximizes all track heights. The next key is shift one. And if I select any track and press shift one, it'll make that track bigger. And you can do this to a few tracks as well by pressing shift and one, and that will include their automation lanes as well. Next up, if your cursor is not in view, you can hit quotation mark to show that. Next up, just to zoom in and out, you can hit plus and minus. You can also zoom to the entire project by hitting command and page down. If you have a time selection, command and page up zooms to that time selection. Also, when you're really zoomed in, if you hit option and left and right, you will scroll through the project. An option up and down does the same thing for scrolling vertically. I don't like any of this, so I've changed all of this, which you will see in a second. I don't find these too, too useful. I like to use my mouse wheel. If you select any item, you can hit underline, which is shift and minus, and you will zoom vertically and horizontally into that item. And then if you hit it again, you will get rid of that. The problem with that is if you select multiple items and hit the same hotkey, it doesn't do too good of a job of doing it. So I have also changed this hotkey to be something else, which you will see in a second. Pressing home takes you to the project beginning. Pressing N takes you to project project end. Let me show you one last thing about the default and then we'll revisit it. By default in Reaper, when you use the scroll wheel, you are zooming in and out. And then if you hit shift and scroll wheel, you're going left and right. And if you hit command and scroll wheel, you will zoom in vertically. So all the heights get adjusted. And the center for this is basically the middle point of your project. Now, I personally don't like these because they're not the same as everything else. So for example, if I'm in any kind of internet browser, I'm using my scroll wheel to go up and down. So then then when I quickly go back to Reaper and try to do the same thing, it's just not the same behavior. But I'll show you how I change all of this stuff in a second. And also while we're here, let me show you another thing you can control. And that is in preferences editing behavior. You can select a vertical and a horizontal zoom center. So for vertical zoom center, the default is track as center of view. And for horizontal is edit cursor or play cursor. You can, for example, make this mouse cursor or center of view. I like to have it at mouse cursor because again, that's what I'm used to. And again, here it could be top visible track. It could be last selected track. I like to keep this also to be track under mouse cursor. If I apply these changes now, if I'm zooming in and I move, it will always move to where my mouse cursor is. And the same thing applies to the horizontal zoom as well. So if I zoom horizontally, whatever track my mouse is under, that track will remain in view. So let's hop on to my supercharged Reaper and let's see how that works. So the first thing is in my custom Reaper, I can just scroll up and down by my mouse wheel. So I changed the default for that to work the same way as every internet browser and everything else, because again, that's etched into my muscle memory. Shift remains to be for left and right and command also is still the same. And for zooming, I have command option and scroll wheel. And another word on mouse wheel is that you have every command here normal and reversed. For example, for zooming, I like to use the reverse. So when I scroll up, I'm zooming in. When I scroll down, I'm zooming out. That is my preference. But again, be aware of this option because the default doesn't make sense to me too much. I'm not going to go over the defaults that I kept, but I'll show you some of the stuff that I think I slightly improved. Now, by default, we said hitting underline will zoom to select that item in and out. What I like to do instead is to use this action. And I've also changed the hotkey. So so shift control and Z is SWS toggle zoom to selected items. So you don't have to use this hotkey. You can also just set this to underline and it will ask you to change the default if you want. I like this better because if I select multiple items on multiple tracks, it'll still work. Similarly, I have changed what shift and one does to the SWS vertical zoom to select the tracks, minimize others. And that's just because I think that one works better. If I select one track, it'll zoom it as always, and it'll include its envelope lanes, which I think is nice. And if I select multiple tracks, 
it'll zoom in such a way that all of them are in view. Whereas in the default, if I hit the same hotkey, as you can see, not all the tracks made it to the screen, which I think is a pretty big flaw. And if I ever want to go back to normal, I just hit tilde, which is right next to it. So a lot of these defaults, I'm okay with the hotkey where it is and what it is, but the SWS counterparts of these usually work a lot better. But if I want, I can also select a bunch of tracks and hit command and control, and then hitting up will zoom to these tracks and hitting down will unzoom them. And this is something that exists in Pro Tools, so I just kind of added that. Finally, let's talk about marquee zoom because that one's really useful as well. The default for that is command option and right drag. Basically, whatever you drag and select, both vertically and horizontally, will be zoomed to. If you go in too deep, it needs to think about it for a second, but it will do it. And a useful thing to do here is going to Preferences, Mouse Modifiers, Arrange View, Middle Click. And here you can see that Command is set to restore previous zoom level. I can marquee zoom to these two items, and then as soon as I hit Command and Middle Click, I'll go back. So I can just zoom into stuff and then middle click out of that. And this is another thing where I have changed the defaults. So on my version, I like to set control and left drag to zoom. And I have just set normal middle clicking to take me back to my previous zoom state. So I can, for example, zoom into this transient if I want. And then when I'm done looking at it, I can just hit middle click and go back. Now, something that I personally don't use, but you may want to use these scripts by Amagalma allow you to save several horizontal and vertical zooms as presets and then recall them. Maybe if you're a Pro Tools user, you would like this system. I never liked that system in Pro Tools. I never implemented it in Reaper either. And maybe you want to save and load both vertical and horizontal presets, then you can create some custom actions for that. But again, not to toot my horn, but I've never felt the need to do any of that because I really like the way my mouse wheel operates, moving around, zoom around, zip, zap, boop. I never have to look down on my keyboard to zoom. So that's my advice for you to do. And final note, if you want your zoom settings to work the same way in your MIDI editor, you have to go and set those as well. So in your MIDI editor, you again have options to view zoom horizontally reversed, etc. All of those are named the same way. Reverses are available for both, but you do have to set both separately of each other. I wish there was a script to kind of like make them always match, but I don't think there is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I took two minutes to set all those a long time ago and I've never looked back. So that's it for today. And the next episode, I'll show you some view based things, windows and docked items and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the work I do, please donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Thanks to all our previous donors. I really appreciate all of you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.